Hello everyone, I have something very interesting for you today. And this box is a puzzle by Ukrainian author, the real master of metal work. This is a metal awesome and I hope interesting puzzle. Perhaps many of you have seen on this channel videos with puzzles by this author. However, this puzzle that I have on my table today is quite special. And now you will understand why. Especially Ukrainians will understand why. That's uh, how it's packed. You can see that uh, it's handcrafted. It's not uh, factory made. It's unique. And here it is. An incredible puzzle. <laughs> God, as you remember, I used to say hard times bring hard puzzles. And here it is. Engineer Brun's puzzle, which is called a bomb. Yeah, now that there is a war going on in Ukraine, such a puzzle is really relevant. This puzzle looks exactly like a bomb. I don't know much about military stuff, but I think bombs like that actually exist. At least I've seen drones were dropping such bombs on the heads of occupiers. So now let's try to solve this puzzle, because on the Cubastic channel we solve various puzzles. This bomb uh, consists of... Uh, I'm seeing at least uh, three details. Uh, the main body is divided into two. There is uh, this gap here that uh, separates uh, the two parts. And uh, this top one, as you can see, is uh, spinning. The understanding of this uh, doesn't give us anything yet. We also have uh, this brass detail inside. It is uh, like a separate one. Well, at least uh, it's made of a different material. Uh, such parts uh, on uh, real bombs are detonators. When a bomb falls, then it explodes. Well, let's try to solve the puzzle. I press the start button and let's go. It's very beautiful, it's so heavy and it looks uh, like a real bomb. And whoa, look what I found. We can also split it into two parts. At first I was only spinning this part and then I saw that uh, this part uh, spins too. Why didn't I see it before? Maybe it's impossible to spin it like that. No, it's possible. It's a hidden carving and I wonder what happens if I unscrew it. I hope it doesn't detonate in my hands because I need my hands to solve a lot of puzzles. Okay, now I know what the bomb consists of. It's interesting. There is something inside, and what is it, I don't understand. It's a black detail with a hole, but I don't know why it's there. So we divided the bomb into two parts. But what to do next, I have no idea. But still, this puzzle has become more interesting, because now there are two of them. I feel like I should do something about this part, uh, because there is a hole here, and I think something can be done about it. But uh, we don't forget that there is also this uh, basic detail inside which there is uh, this solid metal rod. It's so slippery, it's hard to spin it, but it's spinning. But uh, I wonder... It looks like a reverse thread. I'm trying to turn it and it unwinds. Hmm, it's spinning, but I don't see anything changing yet. Hmm, so I have further disassembled this puzzle, now we have more details of the bomb. I feel like a sapper, a dog called Patron, if you know what I'm talking about. Hmm, well, I wonder what I'm going to do with it. Hmm, I took the bomb apart, but this basic detail doesn't unscrew. I think our job is not just to solve this puzzle, but as we know, Engineer Bruns always hides something inside the puzzles. I mean, it's not just a puzzle, it's a stash. And if I shake it like this, do you hear? There's something inside. Okay, what do I see? I can clearly see uh, the hole inside this detail. This is the third hole and it reminds me of uh, mm, this hole in the black part. But I don't know what to do with it. If I just scroll the bottom part, sooner or later this hole will coincide with another, that is, I have two of them. See for yourself, it's there, 
And uh, I hope that this hole can lead me to the right solution. And I want to insert something into it, but what exactly? I have no idea. Is this a whole detail? Is there no way to unscrew it? Maybe... Uh, maybe in such puzzles uh, there are some magnets. This black material could be a magnet. Oh, this is how it was. Cool. Hmm. It's very tightly placed uh, there. Usually on puzzles you can find uh, certain clues that help uh, to find the solution and uh, to know what to do. Well, uh, this puzzle was made of these details, of uh, these uh, three pieces. Now we have uh, taken this one out from inside and uh, we are trying to build without it. Does it make any sense? We just got one detail out. Hmm, I don't know what to do with it yet. Meanwhile, it's been over six minutes and all I did was unscrew a few details. I always liked the experience of solving puzzles. I love holding a unique and truly worthwhile thing. And it's not only looks beautiful, but uh, there is a clever mechanism embedded inside it that we need to solve. I'm interested in these holes. Uh, there are a few of them. And what do I see here? I see a rod here. Can I get it out? Should I get it? You know, puzzles often use uh, some uh, magnetic uh, fixators. And as I understand, uh, this detail is made of some kind of colored metal, like aluminium, that won't magnetize. And uh, here's uh, the rod uh, that's inside this hole, fixed somehow. I need to find a way to get it out of there. Well, uh, that sounds ridiculous, but why don't I try dropping the bomb? If I throw this bomb down and the mechanism somehow works, it's possible uh, that the magnet will stop holding the rod and uh, it will, uh, thanks to gravity, just fall down with the bomb. Try. Has something changed? Not yet. <laughs> but I don't lose hope. It's an interesting option. Why not? It may be necessary for this rod to fall directly into there. I mean, I need to match uh, these holes inside the puzzle. We need to twist them so that uh, when I throw the bomb, this rod falls right into this little hole. Let's try to do that. So I will not touch the bottom part and I will only spin the top. I don't know where it will lead me, but so far nothing works. Should we drop it from the higher position? Nothing has changed, but it's not a problem, at least it was fun. Maybe I should look for some other mechanism. Or maybe, on the contrary, I should throw something out of here. Maybe there is uh, something inside? Let's check. No, uh, this is definitely empty and there is 100% something there. Look, there is definitely either a rod or a ball. I can't understand, but uh, there is definitely something there. <laughs> hmm, how should I make it fall out of there? It looks interesting. This uh, thing may be inside, but for some reason it doesn't go all the way there. But it's very dense there. Don't ask me what I'm doing, I'm doing something to solve this puzzle. It looks interesting, but so far it doesn't help me. Well, guys, it's funny uh, that this detail creates uh, a vacuum here. Do you hear a sound? 
What if I just push it fast? Have you seen it? <laughs> Here it is! Wow! It popped out. There it is! That rod! I push this piece very quickly and the rod blows out of there, like with a pump. See? But now there's a problem. It hides immediately. It's probably magnetized. But I like this mechanics. Some kind of magnet keeps it in. And oh, I just push it with my finger and the rod comes out. Ha! <laughs> it's much easier than I thought. God, I'm proud of the Ukrainian who created this. It's a new mechanics in puzzle solving. I've never seen this before. It's very interesting. Now all I have to do is insert this rod into the hole. I'm going to combine the two holes uh, inside here. Now I can put the rod in here. I don't know if it helps me, but I'll try. Maybe some of these buttons will work. So it's fully in there. Can I screw something? Or unplug? Hmm. I feel like some kind of mechanism is working, but I don't really know what's going on. Perhaps I need to fix it somehow. And uh, get it back as it was at the beginning. Now the bomb is charged. It spins! Now it's spinning! I don't know how it works, but it works! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. This is incredible! Look at the mechanism inside! It's just a miracle! Our Ukrainian masters are just geniuses. And inside was this coin. You can look at it carefully and think about what it tells us. Guys, in one of the following videos, I will show you my most extreme puzzle videos I've ever filmed. Get ready for that, subscribe and turn on all notifications not to miss this awesome video. Well, the amazing puzzle has been solved and it took us 27 minutes. Well, not bad. Now I want to put it together. Oh, it's popping up. I want to put it together and make someone else solve it. This is very similar to a real bomb. We put it into a combat state and only then it worked. Cool. This is one of the most unusual puzzles I've ever solved. Here is an extremely innovative solution and it looks very beautiful. This puzzle will definitely get its rightful place in my collection of puzzles. So guys, I wish you peace and health, thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all and thank Engineer Bruns in particular. That was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time.